So I think it started from our from the participation in one civil meeting against devaluation in 2014. Now we can remember it with our smile. <laughs> we can, you know, yeah, at uh, that joke. time it was <laughs> at that time it wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah. So we went with Gulzada to the um, square to support people who gathered and wanted to say protest, uh, yeah, to protest, to protest yeah. uh, devaluation. It was mm -hmm. um, maybe fourth or third in the order. Mm -hmm. And usually our national bank or other government institutions, they never uh, say information. They never uh, are open about what is happening, actually. And people just are in panic or in, you know, chaotic mm -hmm. feelings because we are That's all unstable. paying, yeah. We are all paying our taxes, uh, for example, and we would like to know what is happening with money, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. And we just came to support people and um, shout some, you know, slogans. Mm -hmm. And actually, some of uh, people started to uh, sing anthem. Yeah, yeah, yeah anthem. We, we, we sang anthem. Yeah, the national anthem. Yeah. And um, so yeah, it, so the government uh, they they said there will be no devaluation, mm. and then the next day they did the evaluation. The, the bank said there will be no evaluation uh, devaluation, mm. but they they lied to people, and uh, before that there were mm, um, many injustices in political lives, mm -hmm. uh, so. People were so angry, and there were a lot of um, protests. They're still happening. Mm -hmm. It's getting um, more and more that time. So we we just joined one of those mm -hmm. uh, in 2014 when when we probably were ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were there, yeah. and then so uh, Janar was um, detained by police uh, really brutally mm -hmm. um, so she she was um, she tried to help to um, prevent detaining other people so police uh, brutally started to detain people mm -hmm. uh, put them in their uh, vans and uh, take them somewhere um, we didn't know so mm -hmm. what then uh, she was really loud, um, saying not to do that, mm -hmm. and then they decided to. She she was one of the organizers, mm -hmm. so she was so uh, visible, mm -hmm. so loud, uh, and so they they thought Janar and another person who was a really good singer of the anthem. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they are the organizers and yeah. they took uh, 30 people to the police uh, station and uh, they took uh, separate legion and uh, mm. that person and uh, asked them if they organized the meeting. <laughs> yeah, and in the police station, that man, I remember, he was trying to support other detained people and he was singing the anthem of Soviet Union. Oh. Where you can find words about slaves and how we should, you know, be not be <laughs> slaves, and it was fun. Yeah. But after the the key point for me and Gulzada uh, was that people uh, immediately started to recognize us, and mm. they started to say, "Oh, we are very proud of you that you went for that uh, kind of uh, event." Mm -hmm. And um, but also we received a lot of commentaries about our gender expression. Yeah. So, for example, I was asked a lot of incorrect questions, uh, why I'm looking as man and not looking as woman. So, my gender expression was um, a, a question of, was uh, like, you know, a source for that kind of questions. And it was very um, uncomfortable to hear that or to read that in social media. And they were starting to, uh, how to say, to neutralize our participation yeah. in, in just so, civil meeting yeah. and it was very disappointing mm -hmm. and then I in, in Guzada we decided that maybe we should express interests of our group yeah. if other group yeah. do not recognize uh, us yeah. as a uh, lesbian woman mm -hmm. so and yeah. so yeah that's um, so we started to meet um, 
people who are human rights uh, defenders and uh, mm-hmm. um, go to some uh, seminars mm-hmm. and um, uh, trainings mm-hmm. and then we understood that we could be also human rights defenders. Uh, so we uh, so um, after that year, I think the, the, I think this the next year or mm-hmm. the starting from that year, yeah. Shanar started to travel to a lot of gatherings uh, of um, this feminist and uh, LGBT mm-hmm. uh, trainings, etc. Mm-hmm. Like fifteen times, he told me in <laughs> yeah, one it was year. Very, yeah, yeah very so intense. very busy year. And then. Um, uh, uh, because of her uh, help, um, I also joined this, and uh, then we uh, decided to do this uh, lesbian, uh, asexual, queer women uh, needs mm-hmm. assessment. Mm-hmm. So that was the per- first project uh, on that, yeah. um, that field. Yeah. I think we lo- lost some friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we lost some some friends who, who wouldn't like to be seen in photos or in public places with us because uh, if if you are with us, it means that you belong to <laughs> LGBT community, <laughs> probably. Yeah. So some people um, yeah, left us, and uh, it's okay, I think. Mm-hmm. And we gained a lot of people, a lot mm-hmm. of friends uh, who were not um, uh, acquaintance before. Mm-hmm. And they um, and uh, our families, they didn't uh, do anything. They mm-hmm. they love us. Um, as they did before, mm-hmm. which is nice uh, from them. Um, and I left uh, the workplace, uh, the regular workplace I used to go to the university. I left it and I, I went to totally to um, LGBT activism life. Yeah. So, but so it, now yeah, me, I still, I still study. Academ- I, yeah, academia. Yeah, I, yeah, I like to study. So I think I will <laughs> study till, yeah. till the end of my life. So, but I mean, um, yes, I'm finishing my uh, doctoral program soon uh, next year. And um, for me, my personal life is, I think, changed in a very positive way. Mm-hmm. Of course, I didn't speak to my uh, family directly because my mom now, she is not ready. But I think, of course, time will come and I will say it in the way she would like to. Mm-hmm. Because I think we should not, you know, press to to other people or even to myself mm-hmm. to do coming out. This is not usual practice in Central Asia. We do not speak with our parents uh, so directly. Yeah. So it's... Um, it's like more than your parents can guess or, you know, understand you just um, oh, or you to speak watch in. YouTube video yeah. when you say <laughs> that you're a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> I think me and Guzada are very optimistic. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't do that. Yeah. We wouldn't do what we're doing now if we were not optimistic. Yeah. So we hear a lot of um, comments such as, why are you... We do not. You do not leave the country. Mm. So that's uh, so. In uh, in opinion of some people, it's like uh, some people do activism to gain a risk and then leave the country. Mm. So that's the strategy for some people, probably, but uh, it's not our way. I and I. I and Janar, we are doing it uh, from our bottom yeah. of our heart. Yeah. We we were born here and uh, we live here mm-hmm. and we would like to change um, this place. Mm-hmm. Not to uh, we do we do not uh, the, the society dictate us to. Yeah. how to live our lives yeah <laughs> and yeah I, I very agree with Gulzada and I think um, I think we show we, we we somehow became also a model example for other LGBT women and LGBT society in general that we are in the country and we're trying to do changes in the country 
So for us, it is very um, also important to say that yes, we we have to try something because if we do not try and just leave, mm-hmm. how we will feel in another country where human rights were achieved by the people who believed in their dreams. Yeah. So even if I go to somewhere, I traveled a lot actually, and I lived abroad, and always I felt that this what I see the safety the happiness or LGBT rights are not achieved by me. So there is not my participation there. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not like you do not feel that this is what you did Mm -hmm. or this is in what you participated in. And there were some people who uh, fight for their rights in that places. And uh, that's why it's happening there. Mm -hmm. If there's some liberation for LGBT people, uh, it means LGBT plus people. Then it means that there were some people who uh, were born there, and they, they changed that place mm. um, yes. to be safe for LGBT plus people now. Yeah. Actually, we sometimes receive questions: "Oh, please help us to go abroad and you know yeah. to uh, have this as asylum." But we trying to say to everybody who ask us that question that we are not. Uh, that kind of initiative you know we try to fight for our human rights and we will do everything in that but we cannot just send somebody we actually do not have any right moral right uh, any you know uh, legitimate um, thing to send somebody and we don't have money for that (laughs) (laughs) we can't do that (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah, I would, yeah, I would like to uh, thank our team. Uh, when we started, we were just together, me and Gulzada, mm-hmm. but we have now our beautiful and very strong members as very Alt- smart, very smart <laughs> woman, Altnai, uh, Sinat, Agirim, yeah. um, also Narke, Sultanat. So we would like to thank uh, our team who are maybe today not here, and also we would like to thank every you know every people and lgbt society who support us who um, say sometimes thank you for your work who recognize us who see that we're trying to do something and who join and who uh, express solidarity 